Zoa mango splash flavor and it comes like this in this orange and uh, reddish color. This one is exclusive from 7-Eleven. Uh, it was pretty hard to get. I had to go through maybe 10 to 15 7-Elevens just to uh, find this. Almost uh, none of them had this uh, drink. Actually, they didn't even have any Zoa. Uh, luckily, I found one that had it. Uh, I like to call this 50-50 uh, drink. I like how it has all this uh, uh, branch chain amino acids in here, the camu camu, all this stuff, caffeine from green tea and uh, uh, green coffee. However, uh, if you look at the ingredients, one thing kind of turns me uh, down for this drink is the fake sugars. We can see there's sucralose in there. On top of that, there's another one, Access Full Fame Potassium, two fake sugars. Uh, that kind of, they have their own side effects. Uh, many people are kind of trying to avoid them, so I'm not sure uh, why they uh, it's a stink uh, healthy, but that kind of makes me want to avoid it. On top of that, it has 160 mg caffeine, that's perfect. I don't like to pass 160, but it's in a small container of 12 florals. If it was 16, there'd be more, uh, I wanna say, sweetening and better. But let's see what this uh, tastes like and how it goes. Mango Splash, feels very tropical name. It comes in this, I want to say, red and orange color. It kind of feels like, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like papaya color, maybe. Watermelon color. Let's see how this goes. Cheers. When you drink this flavor, you get a, uh, I want to say, orange and mango flavor mixed together. It's like 50% orange, 50% mango mixed together, and I want to say a touch of strawberry coming in from here, kind of like those three uh, fruits going on. Uh, uh, cool uh, new flavor, uh, feels very tropical. I just wish it didn't have any uh, thick sugars, and if they use monk fruit and or stevia leaf extract, something like that, where it'll be guilt free. Otherwise, it's kind of like I'm kind of feeling guilty drinking it, but it's good. Thank you.